for me at least, I can't speak for everybody, but I really just try and change the perception. So it's a pressure situation. You know, you really have to do the job. And when I was younger, I always used to be like, I have to make this happen. I have to make this happen. Man on third, less than two outs. I have to get this running. Instead of ma- making it that kind of thing where it's the pressure's on me, I kind of changed my perception to pressure's on the pitcher. He has to make a pitch. He has to get me out. I can hit a ground ball up the middle. I can hit a sacrifice fly. He has to make some pitches or he's going to end up walking me. So uh, I like to change the perception that it's all on him and I just, it relaxes my mindset. Instead of baseball mechanics today, we just heard Michael Chavis say some really cool things. I'm going to call it mind mechanics because that was just absolutely outstanding. Changing the way you think about things, change that perception to be able to have that success that you need. It's something any coach or any player should try to embrace. Learn from everybody you can, whenever you can, and that's exactly what he did. When you put that added pressure on yourself, that tension starts to creep in. So Chavis would have been up there, and he would have been gripping that bat harder, and he would have been able to throw that barrel through the zone as fast. His eyes wouldn't work as well. All those things start to tighten up, and that's the last thing you want to do. You want to play loose and free. And by just changing his mindset and saying, the pressure's really on the guy on the mound. It's not on me. Instead of a have to, he gets to. And that's a huge deal in a game and in life. So try to work on your mindset. Try to continually grow and always be asking questions because that's how he came up with that. Someone that had that kind of mindset shared it with him and he took it, gobbled it up like a a big sandwich, used that nutrients and turned it into his own. So continue to grow, continue to learn. We'll see you next time.